androgynous by the replacements it's a really really good song it just encourages like fluidity and like just being yourself and just like in it in, in whatever form that is yeah leave me to my own devices it's better when your coca-cola eyes are out of my face yeah 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 i checked your phone and no surprises She's grinning from ear to ear in purple lips So take your orchids elsewhere I would say it was poetry first. So I started writing stories and stuff when I was in primary school and then that morphed into poetry because I was always more interested in imagery than plots. So I started writing poetry and then picked up the acoustic guitar when I was 14 or so and started writing songs. So words always came before the music, but they're very intertwined. So I'll kind of, you know, pull up some phrases or stuff that I've written on the bus, on the train, or something will happen and I'll write something down quickly. And I'll be like, wow, I feel like that could go really well over these chords or something like this. And then, so the lyrics do come first, I would say. And now I don't really care, cause you're running around over there. Yeah, I'll miss your t-shirt. I think I was listening to a lot of like rock music. I was listening to like Arctic Monkeys, Pixies, Stooges. I feel like there's a kind of rawness and like an element of just saying how you feel and being completely genuine with how you present yourself and how you communicate. Obviously, sonically, I wouldn't say that there's that much in common, but I feel like being emotional and being spontaneous with my expression is something that I've carried from yeah. like that kind of stuff. Gwendolyn Brooks. Um, when I was younger, I really loved like the Beat Generation, so like Allen Ginsberg and like Jack Kerouac, Deanna Primo, because I thought they were just, I don't know, they just seemed to be making making art that was, you know, it was quite taboo, but they were just speaking about all these things completely freely, and that's what I really loved. Um, I did get into like a phase of reading like romantic poetry, which was quite, you know, it, it's a little bit more narrow but I kind of like the imagery and I like the idea of like nature and like painting pictures because I feel like that's what I want to do with my music I want to create like vivid visceral scenes I'm working on it I'm not sure when it will come out yet because I want it to be like perfect but <laughs> But I'm definitely like working towards that, yeah. I feel like you learn a lot about the artist because it's a big cohesive piece that they've taken time to put together. Like you just get a bigger picture about what they're about, what they like, what they are like sonically. And yeah, I just I just love the idea of kind of working for a while to put out like a big project that like really demonstrates who you are at that moment. Yeah.